So let's take it back to July of 2010. I had just graduated from high school in May and I was getting ready to go off to college and I'm on a cruise ship with my best friend and his family. And I remember this conversation so vividly. It's weird how moments like this, formative moments or statements that you make or, or just weird conversations that you always reference back to, you can see so vividly. I was sitting on this cruise ship talking to him and I was like, man, I wanna have a job where I can make a living doing what I am passionate about. And it's weird to go back. I wish I could just slap myself in the head and say, man, you had already started on YouTube two months before. The opportunity was there. I just didn't know it yet. Opportunity is always disguising itself in many different ways. And here we are six years later and starting YouTube was one of the greatest decisions that I have ever made in my life, to chase my passion and do what I love. And everything else seemed to fall into place after that. So the moral of the story, opportunity disguises itself in many different ways. Always be on the lookout. I've gotten quite a few questions since I started vlogging more about what I put in this shake. So check it out. I got some spinach, some kale, pineapple, raspberries, blueberries, and at the top right here are cherries. This is a really good combination. I like this one a lot. Camry digital luggage scale. And you might say, wow, Michael, are you going on a trip or something? No, I will be at the Arnold Expo in March, but it's the only time I won't be weighing my luggage either. You've probably seen this on Max's YouTube channel and Maddie's because they're also running the conjugate system, but very, very simple concept. It is to measure band tension at the top. So you guys probably just saw on that clip, how are you supposed to spot on this bench press? We put this back here, but then it's like, you stand up here and it's still really, really difficult to, to get the bar off. You don't really have a good leverage point. And this is like the west side bench, I believe. It's from Rogue. I just don't understand how you're supposed to spot. So if you know, comment below. So I really avoided a catastrophe there on that 295 pound attempt. And I know, I know, I know, my bench press is pretty pathetic, but that is why I'm running this program to get it stronger. So I got 285 cleanly, 295, not so hot. So what the workout called for was 10 sets on the bench press. And yesterday was my dynamic squat day. Today is dynamic upper, 10 sets of squats. Yesterday, 10 sets of bench today doing triples paused and the weight that I worked off of was 205 pounds. And no, this isn't super heavy weight or very impressive weight, just like my squat workout yesterday, but I'm just using these high sets to really work on my setup, do the same thing every time, take the bar down, drive it up as hard as I can because practice makes perfect. So I'm hoping like doing more sets, doing 10 sets, that's 10 setups, 10 approaches. And the more you do something, just like shooting a basketball, it's gonna become more of a routine. So that's gonna be a benefit. And the other benefit is obviously following a powerlifting program designed to get you stronger. So the 10 sets there, pretty tiring. And then we had to do three sets, as many reps as possible on our close grip bench based off of our max, the percentage. It was 185 pounds for me. Same thing goes, not super heavy weight. It's something I'm learning with this program, guys. It's not about coming into the gym and doing heavy, impressive weights. That's something that I tried to do for a long time. Every single workout, every time I would film, I would try my best to like post a highlight reel of my workout to like, I don't know, impress my viewers somehow. Like, oh, I did really good on bench today. I, I gotta post that up. I'm glad I was filming. But this is totally different. I'm filming every day. So you guys are seeing the exciting days, the bad days, the good days, the fun days, the boring days, kind of like today. And I think it's more enjoyable. Like following the ups and the downs and you know what I mean? I hope you guys are liking it so far. So after the close grip bench, we moved on to some tricep extensions 
and kind of simple bodybuilding stuff, four sets, 15 to 20 reps, and that was pretty much it for the program. It actually called for a back exercise and a bicep exercise, but I wanted to do a little bit more upper because I've gotta work on these shoulders. Every video I get a comment saying like, you really need to work on your delts. Believe me guys, I know, and I really am trying. I know that's a lagging body part. I neglected them for quite some time and I'm paying for it now, but I'm going to build them up. So some lateral raises with the dumbbells and then a great exercise to finish is some dumbbell skull crushers. You just lie on a bench, flat bench. I hang my head off of it because you get a better stretch. Take it down all the way up and lock it out. And that's it, Saturday night here at the bar. Tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday. I'm very excited about that. And let's get out of here. Does anyone else have this problem? When you do dishes, the only cups that you use are shaker cups. Like the whole top rack of the dishwasher will just be filled with shaker cups. Every time. Okay guys, so it's Sunday. I've got a few minutes to talk to you guys about today and what I'm doing. Now, always on Sunday, I take the day off. Why? Just because I feel like it's the right thing to do. If you've been watching the videos all week, six days straight in the gym, and it just kind of like lets me reset. So I've gotten a lot of questions, and I think from now on Sundays, I'm going to use today as a day to either do something fun, do a Q&A, and since I haven't had the ability to ask you guys what questions you have to ask me, I'm gonna show you guys my camera gear that I have been using because I get quite a few questions. Now before we get into this, I just wanna say I started YouTube with a $50 flip camera. It was a piece of Starting off with this guy right here. This is a Canon G7X. This is my pocket camera, just an easy point and shoot. It's nice for vlogging because it has the flip up screen. So when you are looking in the lens, you can also see yourself, make sure everything looks good. I like this camera. This is my vlogging camera. It is a Canon 70D with a wide angle lens, 10 to 22 millimeters, and it has a Rode video mic pro on the top to capture good audio. Tripod, this is a Manfrotto tripod. It's got this cool little grip on it, kind of like a swivel pivot head, just easy to line up shots. I have two different Gorilla Pods. These are from Joby, I think, J-O-B-Y. They work pretty well. Lens number two is a Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter. And headphones, what headphones do I use in the gym? That's another commonly asked question. These ones right here are from Noon Tech. I like these ones a lot. They stay on your head. Not gonna fall off while you're doing deadlifts. And they are really, really awesome colors. So Noon Tech is the brand. It's the Zorro 2 Wireless. And I'll link most of this stuff down below in the description. And here's something kind of cool. This is my first nice YouTube camera. I got this in 2011. It is a Canon Rebel T3i. And at the time, this was like awesome. I was really proud of myself. I had saved up some money to buy this camera. I just keep it. It doesn't even work. I just keep it because it's cool. I keep it on my shelf, kind of like a reminder of like, remember when you got your first good camera. Why is it cut like that? Because you got a thin curve. Oh. What is this, a Supreme? Yep. Supreme? Cheesy bread, Super Bowl, $20. $20. Game's over. Like the video if you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate that very much. And I'm off to get gas.